Hi there, I'm Stacey Lintern, CEO of Muscular Dystrophy Canada, and I'm very excited to welcome you to our recognition event, A Moment in Time, recognizing milestones, achievements, and stories made possible by you. Today, as we journey through the halls of the MDC Museum together, we'll get to see the incredible way all of you came together this past year to support the neuromuscular community. We'll hear from researchers, firefighters, volunteers, individuals and families affected, and many more incredible people. We have amazing musicians lined up and we'll introduce you to some of our Dr. David Green Recognition Program Award recipients. As many of you know, MDC's goal is to ensure every single Canadian affected by a neuromuscular disorder has the tools, resources, and support they need to live a full life. We could not fill this critical role without the dedication and commitment of our staff, volunteers, donors, and supporters who make this work possible. Each day we see our community reaching out from coast to coast to coast to ensure that Canadians affected are supported in whatever way they need to be. I cannot thank you enough for playing a critical role in that. The pandemic has really shown us what we can do when we work together and focus on our clients, their families and caregivers. Thanks to you, we were able to tailor our services and programs to virtually support and address some of the challenges faced by our community. You also helped sustain MDC through a really difficult period and we have no doubt that you'll be there for us in the future as we continue to work towards finding better treatments and ultimately cures. But for right now, I can't wait to get the celebration started. So let's start exploring. Perfect timing, Yasmin LaRoche, Muscular Dystrophy Canada's Board of Directors member, is waiting for us to kick off the tour. Hi, Yasmin. Hi, Stacy. So great to see you. And thanks for getting the celebration tour started. Hi, everybody. Thank you for taking a moment with us today to recognize the milestones, the achievements, and the stories that you've made possible. It's been a couple of years of uncertainty and change, but we also have so much to celebrate, starting with your unwavering support and commitment to the neuromuscular community. I'd also like to thank and acknowledge the generous sponsors that made this recognition event possible. Heartfelt thanks go out to Biogen Canada and Novartis Pharmaceuticals Canada. Greetings everyone. On behalf of Novartis, I am thrilled to be here virtually with you today, celebrating the MDC community and all that you have achieved over the past year and the incredible achievements that continue on today. We've had the pleasure of working closely with MDC, supporting deeply meaningful engagements projects and programs that are touching the neuromuscular community across Canada and beyond. And I can say that I am personally humbled to watch the passion, commitment, and expertise that each and every one of you are bringing forward each and every day to make a meaningful difference in the lives of people living with and touched by neuromuscular disorders. We are deeply proud of our collaboration with MDC to bring newborn screening for SMA to all Canadian provinces, to the staff, to the board, to the volunteers, to people with lived experience, to the research and clinical community, to the donors. Congratulations. We are so deeply grateful to be your partner. And today we are so excited to be here to celebrate you. Thank you. My name is Eric Say, and I'm the general manager for Biogen Canada. I'm quite new, and I've only been at Biogen Canada for about four months, but a short while is all I need to become very compelled by the mission of Muscular Dystrophy Canada, your affiliated clinical and research partners, and most importantly, the stories of individuals and Canadian families that you serve every day. A few weeks ago, we had the privilege of inviting a young artist from Toronto to a virtual meeting with all of Biogen Canada colleagues to share with us her life experiences, her passions, and her hopes. And we're very grateful for the time that she spent with us and her spectacular artwork that will display prominently in our Biogen Canada offices. This person is a person with SMA, and we saw in her the values that define Muscular Dystrophy Canada, 
determination, courage, passion, and caring. Along the way, I've learned to think of gratitude as an action. It's a verb that works best when it's spoken aloud and embodied. So out loud, I wanna say thank you to you and your partners and commit that Biogen Canada will continue to be a strong partner in your mission to enhance the lives of those impacted with neuromuscular disorders. So thank you again and have a great evening. Thanks are also extended to the dedicated MDC staff who work so hard to ensure that we're delivering on our mission. Your commitment to the NMD community is inspiring. And a special shout out to the staff involved in the production of today's event. It was certainly a team effort to pull off an event of this magnitude. Because of all of you, last year, $4.1 million was invested in mission activities like research and knowledge translation, support, advocacy efforts, and programs and services. More specifically, you invested $2.6 million so Canadians across the country could access MDC's systems navigation program. And this is a program that helps Canadians navigate our very complex healthcare systems and processes. You provided a research hotline through which nearly 1900 individuals had an opportunity to ask questions and receive data-driven answers from experts in the field. You supported 31 Let's Talk NMD webinars, 31 to ensure individuals affected had access to up-to-date information on critical topics for the NMD community. And you ensured that our research momentum continued. Thanks to you, MDC was able to invest $600,000 in research and leveraged another $1.7 million by working with partners like the Canadian Institute for Health Research. And I'd be remiss if I didn't note that MDC received accreditation under the Imagine Canada Standards Program last year for excellence in nonprofit accountability, transparency, governance, and fundraising. That would not have been possible without your support. I think I can speak on behalf of myself and Stacy when I say, we really and truly appreciate each and every person affected, every family member, donor, sponsor, firefighter, chapter members, healthcare professional, clinician, researcher, volunteer, community partner, advisory and standing committee member, MDC board and staff members who connect and work with us every day. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming together to support each other and the entire neuromuscular community. This is a powerful and dynamic community. Thank you, Yasmin. Before we move on, let's take a moment to celebrate the contributions of those who champion Muscular Dystrophy Canada's work and play an inspirational role in moving MDC's mission forward. Please join me in congratulating this year's provincial recipients of the Dr. David Green Awards. Manitoba Provincial Champion Award, Canadian Forces Firefighters 17 Wing Winnipeg, Alberta and Northwest Territories Provincial Champion Award, Camrose Fire Department, Ontario and Nunavut Provincial Champion Award, Adam Armstrong, Nova Scotia Provincial Champion Award, Cape Breton Regional Firefighters Association, IAFF Local 2779, Newfoundland and Labrador Provincial Champion Award, Harbor Grace Volunteer Fire Brigade. New Brunswick Provincial Champion Award, Millstream Fire Department. MDC knows the incredible hope research brings for a better future. While many treatments, therapies and trials coming into Canada, partnerships and collaboration are key to innovative discoveries and improving health outcomes. Despite challenges brought on by the pandemic, this past year, MDC was able to fund seven new research projects and continue our support of 12 existing grants to support researchers and clinicians across the country. We were able to conduct our own economic impact study, the largest Canadian neuromuscular disorder study of its kind, 
gathering information and experiences from the community on the overall cost of living with a neuromuscular disorder so that researchers, healthcare providers, drug regulators, and health technology assessment agencies can better understand the impact living with a neuromuscular disorder has on individuals, their families, the healthcare system, and society as a whole. Your continued support of MDC and the neuromuscular community is what allows researchers and clinicians to move forward with research as better treatments are available and ultimately cures can be found. My name is Judy Martin and I am the mother of Keith Martin. I work in philanthropy. Hi, my name is Keith Martin. I live with fascioscapular humeral dystrophy and I'm a Muscular Dystrophy Canada national ambassador. I've been involved with MDC since 2008 when I cycled across Canada to raise money for MDC. The most impactful gift Keith's ride was ever given was a $5 bill from a 12-year-old girl on the side of the road. To be a donor doesn't mean having a lot of money. To be a donor means caring, not only for yourself, but it also means caring for the community around you because everybody deserves to have a fighting chance to have hope that there will be a cure or will be treatment. Research will lead to a cure and research will also lead to treatments. To me, what's important about research for a cure is that it gives everybody who lives with a neuromuscular disorder uh, and their families and their loved ones hope that there will be treatment to end these diseases in our lifetime. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of courage, and it takes a lot of patience to, to seek those results. I'd like to give a special thanks to researchers who are working tirelessly to find cures for neuromuscular disorders for people like me. Hi, I'm Dr. Locke Miller. I'm based here in Ottawa at the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario. I'm a clinician, a neurologist, uh, as well as a, as a researcher looking into the causes and treatments for uh, neuromuscular disease. You, you should know that your support is really making a, a difference. Uh, the research funding is absolutely crucial, uh, of course, and uh, an enormous thank to everyone who contributes to it. But it's much more than that. It's also an effort that so many people put in, which is really inspiring uh, to researchers in the lab and motivating for clinicians uh, who look after patients. Je m'appelle Caroline Lapointe et je suis euh, atteinte d'amyotrophie spinale de type 2. L'investissement dans la recherche, c'est quelque chose qui est super important pour moi. Pour moi, c'est synonyme d'espoir. Alors, quand récemment, il y a eu des nouveaux traitements qui ont, qui ont été découverts, là, j'étais la première à appeler mon, mon neurologue en lui disant « est-ce que je peux l'essayer? Est-ce que, est que ça peut s'appliquer pour être, être fonctionnel pour moi? » C'était vraiment un cadeau là, pour moi de savoir qu'il allait avoir une possibilité d'amélioration. Alors, c'est sûr que euh, es j'ai espéré longtemps, euh, combien de fois, à chaque rendez-vous annuel, je disais, y a-t-il quelque chose? Est-ce que je peux manger quelque chose qui, <rire> qui m'aiderait? Euh, je pense que c'est important, c'est sûr, là, de, de toujours euh, garder l'espoir que ça s'améliore. Mais quand j'ai vu euh, une lumière au bout du tunnel, que c'était concret, qu'il y avait des gens qui avaient vraiment trouvé une solution, euh, ça a été le jour de fête là, pour, pour moi, pour toute la famille. Puis la première fois que j'ai reçu aussi le, le médicament, là, je vous dirais, euh, on était tellement fiers, ma famille et moi, d'avoir accès à ça puis de pouvoir justement espérer que la suite des choses là, se passe mieux. Alors, à tous les donateurs, les chercheurs, euh, les pompiers qui aident à amasser euh, des, des, des dons pour Dystrophie musculaire Canada, mon message est simple, c'est juste un mot. Merci, au final. Special congratulations goes out to Dr. Hans Lockmuller, the 2021 recipient of the Dr. George Kirpati Award for Research of the Year. Dr. Locke Miller is the lead principal investigator of the Neuromuscular Network for Canada. 
a very active member of MDC's Medical and Scientific Advisory Committee, and serves as an academic lead on MDC's economic impact study. Because of Dr. Hans Lockmuller's efforts, our clients are informed and have better hope for better treatments and cures. I'd also like to congratulate the Martin family, who are the 2021 recipients of the Dr. David Green Impact Award. The Martin family celebrated a tremendous milestone in 2020. They have now raised more than 1 million in support of the neuromuscular community. And now I'm very excited to introduce you to Mark Kurtik and his father, Sergey. Mark, who was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, started playing the trumpet at 11 years of age and has grown to be an incredible musician alongside his father. Take it away. Muscular Dystrophy Canada works every day with individuals affected by neuromuscular disorders, their families, like-minded organizations, and healthcare professionals to help change lives. For instance, thanks to all of you, MDC was able to partner with Technology for Living to provide cough assist machines to a number of people in British Columbia who didn't have access to the critical piece of respiratory equipment. We also partnered with the Children's Hospital at London Health Sciences Centre and the Children's Health Foundation to offer the shared decision-making pilot project. The innovative service helps pediatric patients and their families make informed decisions throughout their care journey and alleviates a lot of stress and pressure. 
You are truly changing lives each and every day of the year. With your generous support, MDC virtually interacted with 26,375 persons affected and funded 978 pieces of equipment last year alone. I could go on and on and on about the amazing things you have done to change lives, but let's hear what our friends have to say. Hi, my name's Colleen O'Connell. I'm a rehabilitation physician at the Stan Cassidy Centre for Rehabilitation in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Muscular Dystrophy Canada continues to work to partner researchers with clinicians and with patients and their families to make sure that the things that we are doing matter to individuals and are important in terms of fulfilling their own objectives for both their care, their participation in research, and their ability to live their lives as, as happy and contributing members to their communities. Muscular Dystrophy Canada is the voice for people who often may not have a voice in this very tough healthcare and uh, political world. This really became apparent during the pandemic. And I think Muscular Dystrophy Canada took a leadership role. Their staff were phenomenal in reaching out to the appropriate stakeholders in order to get solutions and guidance for their community and to get it in a systematic but also scientific way. I'd really like to take this opportunity for a huge congratulations and a huge thank you on behalf of all of us who work in healthcare for all of the work that Muscular Dystrophy Canada staff and their community provides. It's having community partners like you that really makes our jobs easier and also gives us back that satisfaction and, and, and enjoyment that we have with doing our jobs. Thank you. Bonjour, je m'appelle Alfred breton paré euh, je demeure à Québec, je travaille en, en recherche clinique et je suis euh, impliqué avec Dystrophie musculaire Canada depuis euh, depuis maintenant dix ans, c'est au diagnostic de dystrophie musculaire euh, pour mon fils et loi. Et euh, à travers les années, ben, j'ai, je me suis impliqué au départ avec le défi gratuel, mais maintenant sur divers comités et depuis quelques années euh, au conseil d'administration. Euh, les pompiers sont, sont présents depuis le début du Trophée musculaire Canada et on a également pu compter personnellement sur eux depuis le début de notre aventure. Euh, si je prends notre expérience, euh, on a été chanceux on a eu la, d'être invité à un super bénéfice euh, organisé par les pompiers de Berthier-sur-Mer euh, à faire un témoignage euh, et on était vraiment loin de se douter de, de l'accueil euh, très chaleureux qu'on pouvait recevoir, mais également qui euh, allait éventuellement adopter notre famille et faire euh, équipe avec nous depuis déjà dix ans, particulièrement pour la montée des héros là, pour notre notre fils Téloi. Au fil des années, mais j'ai également pu euh, être témoin de toutes les activités de, de levée de fonds euh, qui sont faites par les pompiers à travers le pays et c'est des millions de dollars qui sont euh, qui sont générés par leurs actions et qui permettent de financer significativement la mission de, de DMC. Et je vous dirais que je suis convaincu que le, le futur est très prometteur. Hi, my name is Steven Achtenberg. I'm a captain with the Seashell Fire Department. I started with MDC in 2018 uh, with various events and uh, continue now as a regional chair for the Sunshine Coast. You can turn literally anything you want into a fundraiser. In September, our district had an Oktoberfest event and I had signed up to have a MDC table there to raise money in a booth. After standing there in uniform for about an hour and a half, I had raised about 75 bucks. So I decided to put another boot on the table just to see if I could double my efforts. A lady approached the table and looked at the two boots and asked which one to donate on. And at the time, I had a glorious mustache. And I looked at her and said, put it in this boot if you want me to shave my mustache or put it in this boot if you want me to save it. And she looked at me intently and slowly put her money into the second boot and whispered, save it. And I just flipped the poster from then on. I grabbed a Sharpie, wrote, shave it, save it, drew two arrows to the two boots, and in about an hour, I had raised about 500 bucks. I want to thank every single firefighter in all those 600 plus halls that support MD currently. Um, and I challenge you to go find another hall to join. Um, I would love to thank all the businesses, sponsors, people, volunteers, like all the people that just keep saying yes. Thank you everyone and congratulations. Dr. O'Connell for being named this year's recipient of the Dr. David Green Outstanding Healthcare Partner Award. 
Dr. O'Connell is an invaluable member of the neuromuscular community. Thank you for providing up-to-date information on COVID-19 and neuromuscular disorders, advocating on behalf of people affected by neuromuscular disorders, presenting at MDC's Let's Talk NMD webinar, and being an amazing ally overall. I'd also like to congratulate Stephen Achterberg, the 2021 recipient of the Firefighter of the Year Award. In 2020, Stephen hosted BC's first Fill the Boot event, led the High Rise Challenge in the West, and re-engaged a number of fire departments. His leadership and commitment embody the firefighter motto, until there's a cure, there's us. Before we move on to our next room, I'd also like to extend congratulations to Laura and Scott Van Dormal on receiving this year's Outstanding Philanthropist Award. Laura and Scott's daughter was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy and funds they raised are being used to help others access treatments. It's inspiring how community works to positively change lives every day. Muscular Dystrophy Canada strives to be the voice for the neuromuscular community in Canada and as such continues to raise our voices for change on an individual and systemic level. For instance, MDC prioritized the well-being and safety of the neuromuscular community during the pandemic, working to ensure the COVID-19 response by government and other agencies was in the best interest of the neuromuscular community, advocating for access to treatments, COVID-19 triage protocols, virtual assessments for assistive devices, and prioritization for vaccinations. Because of your support, we're working with the Neuromuscular Disease Network for Canada, the Foundation for Gene and Cell Therapy, and the federal government to implement a comprehensive rare disease strategy across Canada, particularly to implement screening and early prevention of rare diseases. To ensure no more screening for SMA becomes a national reality in the near future, MDC launched a multi-year, multi-phased endeavor in collaboration with Novartis Pharmaceutical. With the incredible support of our sponsors and community, MDC is amplifying the voice of the neuromuscular community, launching a call for projects that can accelerate the inclusion of SMA on newborn screening panels across the country. And just last month, MDC embarked on a collaboration with Independent Living Canada to call, consult with individuals, organizations, and stakeholders to help inform the development of Canada's first ever Disability Inclusion Action Plan. By listening and learning from the neuromuscular community, MDC will continue to work with you to raise awareness and advocate to positively influence policy change. My daughter is six years old now. Um, her name is Zoe. And two days after her second birthday, she was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy. Um, Zoe is our first child. She's our only child. And so to learn that she had um, a rare disease was it was devastating and we didn't know what to do. For us, MDC were one of the first people that introduced themselves to us. And I remember that first point of contact and just feeling like in all of this craziness, um, we weren't alone. You know, there was this organization, this larger body that we could reach out to for support. Um, and even just as a, a listening ear. And for someone who's entering into something as scary as the rare disease community, knowing that you're not alone is huge. Hi, I'm Junior. Hi, I'm Carol, Junior's grandmother and his caregiver. You do need a village to raise a child with, with special needs. So we're very lucky. We love going to Camp Hee Ho Ha. For the three days, we love going to the picnics, we go to the Christmas parties. Most important, the staff uh, at Muscular Discopy are always willing to help us research and find uh, what we need. Junior has a right to a full life. He has a right to the supports that are out there and also making people aware of supports that aren't there for everybody. There's always planning and you and you make sure you share it with your child if you can. Junior knows the plan. He knows if um, he tells me if he's not feeling well, you give him control. You have to give him a voice. He's 14. He has a right to a voice. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for, for all of your, your help. Uh, muscular Dystrophy Canada and our community. Thank you for making Junior's life 
so much easier and my and life too happier. and happier yes I would say that I'm a I'm a fairly vocal person in the SMA community. And when I first considered why that was important to me, I thought it was about, you know, inclusion and about education and awareness. But when I thought about it even more and took it further, I realized that raising your voice, um, it's the only way that things will change, really. And we need them to change. Today, there are still so many pockets of people without um, treatment access. And just a, a couple of years ago, those pockets of people without access were even larger. And it was through, you know, raising awareness and raising our voices. That's when we were able to spur change on the governmental level. So today, there are more people with access to treatment, and that has made such a huge difference in the lives of so many. I would love to take this opportunity to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much to the donors, to the supporters, to the volunteers, to the hundreds and hundreds of people that go into making the power that is MDC. Thank you for the time, for the effort, for the care, and for the love. We appreciate it all. We love you. And um, yeah, we can't wait to see what the future holds because of the work that you do. Congratulations go out to Owen McGonagall, this year's recipient of the Dr. Katie Manders Courage to Inspire Award. Over the last year, Owen has played a major role in MDC's Fill the Boot challenges, during which he engaged high profile donors, raised a total of $90,000. He continues to share his story and inspire others to take action to support those affected by neuromuscular disorders. Congratulations also to Arch Disability Law Center, who has been selected as the 2021 recipient of the Leadership and Advocacy Award. Arch has been exceptional in the past year in terms of advocating for equitable policies as it relates to COVID-19. Thank you to all of our inspiring members of the MDC community who raise their voices each and every day in order to help others live full lives. Before we move on, let me introduce you to another talented member of our community. Please welcome Philip Lozon, affected by limb girdle muscular dystrophy, 
an incredible country singer from Quebec. I know more about myself than I ever cared to know The places in the past the most will never go Can't find all the pieces to hunt this bro I may be through the fire but I still smell like smoke I've gone from even not throwing in a towel looking for a way out To love and every minute of my life To love and every minute of my life And now, looking back, it's a miracle I'm I found something worth living for Love and every minute of my life To love and every minute of my life because of yours, this breath to breathe, my heart still beats. Because of yours, I know the view from the bottom just a little too well. Don't know much about heaven, but a lot about hell. Time was something I was waiting on to just slip away I sent through the hands of a man to a shame Pray I've gone from giving that throwing in a town Looking for a way out To love and live a minute of my life To love and live a minute of my life and now, looking back, it's a miracle I've found something worth living for Love and every minute of my life Love and every minute of my life Because of yours It's breath to breathe My heart still beats Because of yours Gone from giving that throwing in a towel to where I am now, loving every minute of my life, loving every minute of my life. And now, looking back, it's a miracle I've a found something worth living for, loving every minute of my life, loving every minute of my life. Because of yours, this breath to breathe, my heart still beats because of yours. As you can see, I have moved to our sharing information area. MDC knows that for individuals who have neuromuscular disorders and their families, there are challenges to accessing medical and non-medical information, and there are a lot of decisions that need to be made during a healthcare journey. Your overwhelming support ensures timely and important information is provided so our community has access to reliable, plain language information from experts and individuals with lived experiences so that individuals can make informed decisions. Of course, the support of clinicians, researchers, and other allied healthcare professionals is critical to providing the support. As Yasmin mentioned at the top of the tour, it was thanks to the dedicated support of clinicians, researchers, and so many more that MDC was able to launch the Let's Talk NMD webinar series during the pandemic to educate Canadians about neuromuscular disorders and share trusted and timely information on important topics, including COVID-19, and MDC's research line has been instrumental with connecting the neuromuscular community directly to experts across the country. 
Uh, my name is Craig Campbell. I'm a pediatric neurologist uh, and I do primarily neuromuscular work as part of my practice. And I'm also the interim chair chief of pediatrics at the Children's Hospital here in London. For anyone who's dealing with a rare disease, and that's the case for many of the disorders that uh, that Muscular Dystrophy Canada covers in their mandate, information and knowledge is really powerful. Um, and that's really, you know, been one of the primary functions in my mind of, uh, of Muscular Dystrophy Canada. They've really contributed to bringing people together, providing um, important avenues for people to access information. And so when the opportunity came to partner with Muscular Dystrophy Canada to provide shared decision making across their, um, uh, their service platform in, in Ontario, we were really excited about it. Shared decision making is a is a more systematic uh, process to making decisions that brings the best information and evidence to the decision making process, but also matches patient preferences and values and experiences to that evidence to really make the best decision. I'm deeply grateful for all the uh, donors and supporters in various ways, not always uh, you know, your money, but your time, your raising awareness. Uh, this is incredibly valuable. Ce que j'aimerais dire aux donateurs et bénévoles et sympathisants, c'est euh, merci au nom de tous les thérapeutes en fait du programme des maladies neuromusculaires du Centre de réadaptation Marie-Enfant. Euh, merci de donner généreusement pour améliorer la qualité de vie en fait de nos patients atteints d'une maladie neuromusculaire euh, grâce à vos dons en fait euh, qui font une réelle différence dans la vie euh, de ces personnes en leur offrant par exemple la possibilité d'avoir des équipements qui ne pourraient pas avoir autrement. Euh, dépendamment de l'équipement qui est financé, ça permet d'améliorer leur qualité de vie, leur autonomie à la marche au quotidien et de prévenir aussi là, les douleurs et de les soulager. Donc, euh, merci pour euh, les connaissances euh, au niveau des maladies neuromusculaires. Donc, euh, nous, on réfère fréquemment nos familles, euh, leurs proches et même euh, les intervenants des milieux scolaires, donc au site de Dystrophie musculaire Canada, qui contient là, vraiment beaucoup d'informations pertinentes et accessibles sur les maladies neuromusculaires. Euh, cette information-là permet vraiment de mieux sensibiliser l'entourage de nos jeunes qui viennent de recevoir un, un diagnostic. Euh, également, Dystrophie musculaire Canada ben, s'implique parfois auprès des familles en allant directement dans, dans les écoles euh, de certains de nos jeunes pour expliquer la maladie et euh, expliquer aussi les impacts que ça peut avoir dans le contexte scolaire là, pour vraiment assurer une, une bonne intégration. Puis, euh, ben, à notre avis, le, le fait de partager l'information sur les maladies neuromusculaires puis de sensibiliser les gens à ça, ben, c'est vraiment nécessaire, en fait, pour euh, avoir un climat vraiment d'entraide et d'empathie à l'école pour nos jeunes. On tient vraiment à dire un, un grand merci là, à, tout, euh, à tous les gens qui, qui donnent et qui, euh, qui viennent en aide, en fait, à, aux familles qu'on qu suit au quotidien. Donc, euh, c'est vraiment cette... Euh, cette aide-là qui est primordiale là, dans le quotidien de nos familles puis qui permet vraiment d'améliorer la qualité de vie de, de nos jeunes là, dans leur quotidien, euh, puis également des fois de permettre de préserver de l'autonomie à la marge, de prévenir des douleurs, tout ça, par le soutien que, qui est apporté de ces gens-là qui donnent généreusement à chaque année. Congratulations to Bonnie Wooten and Dr. Campbell, this year's recipients of the Excellence in Service Delivery Award. I also wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate the Gottlieb family, who were the 2021 recipients of the Fred Shattuck Community Spirit Award. The Gottlieb family has gone above and beyond organizing community events, such as their community carnival, which raised over $11,000. They've also used their platform to raise awareness by sharing personal stories related to diagnosis, supporting others to adjust and cope with challenges, and sharing MDC's mission. Knowledge is an invaluable resource, and we are so grateful to everyone who plays a role in sharing that knowledge. When it comes to community, nothing compares to the strength of our neuromuscular community or the level of support we offer each other. We've been blessed with a network of friends, family, partners, donors, sponsors, and volunteers that go above and beyond every day. Individuals who provide volunteer leadership or participate in our chapters and networks play a significant role in building the neuromuscular community. 
They come together to share their stories, network and support each other, especially during challenging times. Even during a pandemic, our supportive community and amazing volunteers came together to ensure critical fundraising activities like Walk for MD and High Rise Challenge were still a success. Despite the fact that both of these events had to go virtually, together still raised over a million dollars. Of course, we cannot forget the heart of our community, firefighters. For 67 years, firefighters from coast to coast to coast have been enduring partners and supporters of the neuromuscular community. Not only have they raised awareness, but they've also raised funds to the tune of nearly $100 million. The entire Canadian neuromuscular community has felt the impact of this support. Of course, the last couple of years, they've had to take their fundraising virtually. And let me tell you, you got creative. They climbed trees, stairs instead of the usual tower and held boots with hockey sticks to adhere to distancing protocols for COVID-19. Bonjour, mon nom est Patrick Bissonnette. Je suis un pompier volontaire avec la Ville d'Ottawa depuis 10 ans maintenant. Un de mes enfants, euh, Malik, est atteint de la dystrophie musculaire du type du chêne. Donc, nous avons appris que Malik avait la dystrophie musculaire à l'âge de 4 ans. Euh, à ce point-là, ça a bouleversé notre vie. Euh, tu penses tout le temps que ton enfant va jouer au hockey ou jouer au baseball. Euh, malheureusement, avec euh, la condition de Malik, je savais que euh, cela était quelque chose qui n'était pas possible. Nous aimerions remercier tous les aidants. Euh, sans vous, notre vie serait un peu plus compliquée. Vous facilitez nos tâches tellement, ça, ça nous fait chaud au cœur. Ça veut dire tout pour nous euh, d'avoir nos coéquipiers euh, sur la rue, dans les supermarchés, à ramasser des fonds pour nous. Euh, et puis d'autres comme nous également, euh, ça veut dire absolument tout. On, on vous remercie à, à mille merci. Hi, my name is Kelly Hyde and I'm part of the Calgary Leadership Chapter. I'm involved in planning various events, um, fundraising, pretty much anything that's required, I'd like to help out with. I became involved with the Calgary Chapter approximately 16 years ago when my niece was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And immediately I was looking for some support and way to learn more and also to make a difference somehow with this disease. The Calgary uh, chapter for Muscular Dystrophy Canada engages the community in many ways. Uh, we're very fortunate here. Uh, we have a casino uh, so we can fundraise that way and bring our volunteers together. We put on many events, usually in person, but right now online. Firefighters have a special place in my heart. They're obviously an integral, integral part of our community, but they're also probably the biggest partner that Muscular Dystrophy Canada has. And um, the way they impact with their families is very, very special. So in 2021, Calgary was the chapter of the year and this recognition was very special as it was coming from Muscular Dystrophy Canada. To be honest, I didn't feel that we were able to do very much that year just because of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, we did keep going, we fundraised, we you know looked at ways of trying to grow and uh, just remain together somehow through an online presence. And uh, it just really what it has done is inspire us to do more this year and hopefully we can be together in person soon. So I just really like to thank all the walk participants. Um, it means so much. I don't have a neuromuscular disorder, but living with something like that is so difficult and I watch it every day and someone that I love and care about so much. And knowing that there's people like you out there who are fundraising, volunteering, supporting in other ways, it makes all the difference and it provides us all with hope and inspiration. So thank you. My name is uh, Dan Hamill. I'm with the St. Martin's Volunteer Fire Department and I'm also the National Firefighters Relations Committee member. Well, firefighters have been uh, raising funds for, I don't know, 67, 68 years. It's since 1954. I started in 2005 or 2006 in Ontario holding a fire boot. And, and it's 2022, and I will be out there holding fire boots until there's a cure. Uh, the families and, and, and the clients that we've gotten to know over the years, uh, they come out and, and they support us, uh, whether it's sitting in a ladder for 60 hours, whether it's pulling a 35,000 pound fire truck, whether it's holding a boot, that's, that, that's what we're there for. And, and just seeing them and getting to know their names and why we're doing this, that is so important for all of us to see that support. And it, it's just, it breaks me up every time. It, it pulls at our heart and we're, we're, we just wanna do the best we can.
to, to help these people have an everyday life. I really want to thank the families, the clients, the family members. And, and you know what? We've heard over the years that firefighters are your heroes. Well, I'm here to tell you that you guys are our heroes. Thank you to all the firefighters, event participants, amazing donors, sponsors, and volunteers who helped MDC fundraise in 2020 and 21 and ensured the needs of the neuromuscular community continue to be met. Here are a few more supporters who played a large role in MDC success this past year and were awarded Dr. David Green Awards for their contributions. Congratulations to Fire Department of the Year Award, Williams Lake Fire Department. This year marks Williams Lake Fire Department's 50th anniversary partnering with MDC, raising over $320,000 during this time frame. In the past two years, the department had a very successful rooftop camp out, raising significant funds and awareness to support our clients while engaging other partners in the process and surpassing their goal. Caring Corporate Partner Award, CIBC. CIBC has been a dedicated supporter of MDC for over 10 years through the Montreal Gala event in 2020, showing exceptional leadership for the cause. Not only did CIBC donate over $35,000 to MDC to fund programs and services, but the Quebec CIBC executive, Jean Raymond, rallied the bank's clients to make corporate donations and as a result secured an additional $35,000 to help fund mission activities. Distinction and Chapter Leadership Award. Calgary chapter. Over the past year, the Calgary chapter continued their fundraising efforts, engaged new members on their leadership committee, supported MDC clients through the Community Services Fund, and maintained the communication with our staff team. The chapter has also continued to actively support the Walk for MD during these challenging times and in the last 30 years has successfully raised over $500,000. Marianne Wickham Award for Volunteer of the Year, Will Truman. Will Truman is a firefighter who had a brother who passed away from a neuromuscular disorder. He has shown tremendous leadership and support for the high rise challenge. Even during difficult pandemic times, he set a personal goal of $15,000 and put his network into action to achieve this amount. As a leadership volunteer, he's invested well over 60 hours in the past year to make the event such a success. He always demonstrates enthusiasm for the event to be successful financially and inspires us all, all the firefighters and teams and families involved. Well, there you have it, everyone. An incredible time to celebrate the incredible year we've had together. Thank you again to everyone who joined us today and for your continued support of the MDC community. Our closing speaker is near and dear to me and many in our community. She's a Paralympian, advocate, MDC staff member, and an all-around amazing individual, Danielle Campo mcleod Hi, everyone. I'm Danielle Campo mcleod and I am so grateful to be here today. I want to start off by sharing my story. I wear many different hats. I'm a wife, a mother, a senior staff member at Muscular Dystrophy Canada, and also a person living with a neuromuscular disorder. I'd like to take you on my journey. My journey started at the age of two when I was diagnosed with a neuromuscular disorder. At that time, I was experiencing a lot of muscle weakness in my legs. It made walking difficult and running. I couldn't do the same things that my older brothers were doing. And so when my parents brought me to the doctor and the diagnosis was a form of muscular dystrophy, it came as a complete shock. And that's when my journey with Muscular Dystrophy Canada began. Muscular Dystrophy Canada was there for my family every step of the way, through support, through equipment, through helping to be on the other end of the phone when my parents just had questions that nobody else could answer. They were with us as we walked this journey. As I continued to get older and set goals for myself and discover what living with a neuromuscular disorder would be like, that's when I found the pool and being in the water was the place that I could express myself. I was limitless in the water. I could use my muscles stronger than I could on land. And that's when I discovered my love for the water. I started training and swimming and set a goal to become a Paralympic athlete. I was lucky enough to represent our country at two Paralympic Games and become an eight-time world record holder and gold medalist. And Muscular Dystrophy Canada was there every step of the way. 
when things got difficult and you would have difficult doctor's appointments or figuring out how your muscular dystrophy affected your body, Muscular Dystrophy Canada was always there, not just through equipment like wheelchairs and walkers, but they walked alongside my school journey so that teachers could understand it more. They would help to advocate for my needs and help to make sure that I was able to have a platform to live my best life. I continued to set goals for myself at a goal of going to the university and getting an honors degree in social work. And Muscular Dystrophy Canada was there every step of the way. When I needed to ask questions or to start questioning my own diagnosis because my muscles weren't doing exactly what we thought that they would do with the type of neuromuscular disorder that I had, Muscular Dystrophy with Canada was there and they created, created the outlets for us to continue to look into and research what form of neuromuscular disorder I had, which meant incredible doctors, access to different clinical trials, being able to be supported every step of the way, emotionally, physically, and in every aspect of my life. When I questioned that I wanted to be a mom and I didn't know what that would look like having a neuromuscular disorder, muscular dystrophy was there with the greatest emotional support. I am proud to sit in front of you today and say that I have three beautiful biological children. They are five, two, and six months old. And just recently, Muscular Dystrophy Canada stood beside my family in a way that I will never be able to say thank you. After the birth of my beautiful daughter, something that I had wished for and hoped for for so long, things quickly took a turn and I had complication after complication. And shortly after she was born, I ended up on life support in a hospital for three months. And Muscular Dystrophy Canada was there. Not only were they there for me across the country, praying and sending positive thoughts, but they were there for my family. They were, my family was able to call and get the questions and answers that they needed from the diagnosis that I have so that they could help the doctors best support me. Muscular Dystrophy Canada was there when I was able to talk again after being unvented and being able to talk and answer the questions of all of these machines and all of this equipment that I had heard the names of and had helped clients access so much, but didn't understand the impact until I myself was using it. When a doctor came into my hospital room and said, you're going to need a cough assist machine to help you cough because your lungs aren't quite strong enough. Muscular dystrophy was there at the Canada was there at the other end of the phone to explain to me exactly what that machine was going to do and how that machine was going to help me. When I wasn't able to move my body and I needed to get out of bed and sit in a chair for the first time so that I could hold my baby girl three months after she was born, Muscular Dystrophy Canada was there. Muscular Dystrophy Canada was there to support my family each and every step of the way emotionally and to help them as we continue to push through this incredible challenge that no one knew was coming. I cannot thank Muscular Dystrophy Canada enough. I cannot thank each and every one of you. Our stakeholders are our lifeline. As a staff member, it is an amazing feeling to be able to connect with each and every person that lives with a neuromuscular disorder and to let them know that we are there for them every step of their neuromuscular journey, whether it be through our incredible system navigation program, our research, our advocacy, we are there each and every step of the way. We are able to be there because of our incredible stakeholders, because you choose to invest in Muscular Dystrophy Canada we are able to allow all Canadians living with a neuromuscular disorder and their family the chance to dream, the chance to have hope, and the chance to achieve those dreams and to set goals. We are there on the difficult days and the days that we need to hold our clients up, and we're there on the days that we get to celebrate. And today is about thanking each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you for giving my family the support and the fight they needed to help continue. Thank you for supplying the equipment that meant that I was able to hold my children again. Thank you for doing all of the advocacy and the research because 
35 years ago, I was diagnosed with a neuromuscular disorder and just two weeks ago was able to name that neuromuscular disorder. I know that there's medication out there that will help me on the difficult days. That's because you invested in Muscular Dystrophy Canada. I know that on the days that I get scared or the days that feel a little overwhelming because living with a neuromuscular disorder has challenges each and every day that we're not prepared for, I know that Muscular Dystrophy Canada is there because each and every one of you are there. I thank you so much to all of our donors. And it wouldn't be me if I didn't give a special shout out to our incredible firefighters across the country for your prayers, for your support, for your incredible support of my family. I thank you. To each and everybody that lives with a neuromuscular disorder, I have the incredible job of looking at our stakeholders today and telling you, we will dream big, we will set our goals, and we will live the best quality of life that we can because you invest in Muscular Dystrophy Canada. I know in my heart that one day we will find a cure. But until that day comes, I thank you that we are able to walk alongside everyone that will have a diagnosis of neuromuscular disorder. I thank you for the incredible clinical trials that are gonna come up that we will be able to help support people act to access. I thank you for the incredible research that will be done because of all of the donations that Muscular Dystrophy Canada receives. And I thank you that each and every person living with a neuromuscular disorder has access to an incredible equipment to let make our life easier, but most importantly, has access to incredible emotional and a physical support. I can't tell you what it's like to attend a caregiver retreat or a family retreat and connect with families or virtually through our networks and connect with families and other people living with a neuromuscular disorder so that for just that short period of time, you can be surrounded by people who get it. And so I wanna take this opportunity to say thank you. I walk again, I hold my kids and I play with my children every day because you invest in Muscular Dystrophy Canada. I promise to continue to challenge each and every person living with a neuromuscular disorder to reach their goals and set their dreams because you continue to invest in Muscular Dystrophy Canada. Thank you and I wish you all of the best.